girl yesterday. Don't worry, it's, it's nothing serious. But, oh, the stuff she puts me through. She doesn't like my clothes. She doesn't like my attitude. She's a real challenge. She's not like you at all. You don't expect anything from me, right? Nope. You could do absolutely nothing with your life, and I'd still be crazy about you. And that's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. Oh, Boner City. Hey, Kelly. How'd the date with other you go? <laughs> oh, boy. You're crying. Um, Christina, we need you right now. Oh, jeez. Uh, what's wrong? I don't understand why this is so hard. Clark and I have so much fun in the future. You know, we have so much fun with work and with our friends and you guys. Oh, we still hang out a lot? Not as much as we used to, but you're still our favorite couple. Oh, dear God, no. What? Him? I'm dating him? I'm married to him? I am literally throwing up everywhere right now. I just shit my pants. What is going on here? Kill why? Me. Why? Tell me where I stand. Why does this happen? I mean, is it even worth trying to make my relationship work? No, I swallowed it. I swallowed it. It's okay. It's okay. What are your interests? <laughs> Clark, I'm practically naked on top of you. And I've already told you I like what you like. So you don't just like Animal Man because Michael Ironside told you to like Animal Man? This girl that you met yesterday, what was her name? It's not important. What was her name, Clark? Kelly. What did Kelly tell you? Oh, nothing. What did Kelly tell you, Clark? She told me that she's my future girlfriend and you're not. I'm fine. Um, where's Kelly? She must have snuck out while we were fighting. Why were you fighting? Kelly said me and Zangief over here are getting married in the future. Really? Yes. And if somehow I can make it work with the dumbest person I know, then maybe you can pull your shit together and make it work with Kelly for the sake of, you know, the fucking future of the fucking world. I'm trying to make it work, okay? But I have to find her first. Oh, oh no. Oh. I guess. Why aren't you naked? Why would I be naked? In the Terminator movies, they always time travel naked. We time travel fully clothed. It's lame. Remind me to make everybody in the future time travel naked. Okay, can I go now? No. I want you to stay. I've made my decision. Even though it's already worked between us, I don't think it's going to work between us. You want someone like you. I disagree. You said that. Well, then I disagree with me. I don't want someone like me, Kelly. I want someone like you. You're smart and tough and awesome, and you're the only person I know that believes I'm capable of, of doing something more with my life. I, I want to make a difference in the world, but I'm, I'm missing a big piece of the puzzle. Help me woo now you. It's the first time in two days you've sounded like the Clark I know. Let's go get me. Let's go get you.
friends. Love at first sight didn't work out. We're gonna have to recreate our first kiss. So you have to get President Kelly out of this bar and to a karaoke bar. This is a hearing device. It's small enough to fit in your ear. I'll be in the hallway coaching you and Ellen and Christina will be with you for moral support. We think you're rocket, Clark. Don't speak for me. I wasn't speaking for you, I was speaking for me. Well, don't do that we shit. We're not a couple yet. Well, of course not. If we were a couple, I'd be getting some. <laughs> okay, everyone, please. We have a future to save. Hello. You again. Tell her that you got off on the wrong foot and that you want a second chance. I got off on the on the wrong foot, we did. And second chance would I like. Why are you talking like that? Why are you talking like that? I accidentally did a Yoda impression. Okay. Well, don't. Uh, so what brings you back here? Um, forgot your name. I, uh, I got nothing.